Hey everybody, we are in Fort Myers, Florida this morning and we're actually in the River District and it doesn't look terribly attractive where we're standing right now because behind us is Centennial Park and it's under construction right now, putting in a new amphitheater and some other improvements there, but this is usually where the farmer's market is and this is actually a Thursday morning and right now it's, it's over here in the shade, but kind of unattractively underneath the highway. But this is a normal thing for the farmer's market to be here, usually in the park. And it's one of the things that you can kind of expect living in Fort Myers. And we're gonna actually go through some other things that you can expect when living in Fort Myers and just generally what that lifestyle is like. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Jason Compton. I'm Josh Cowan, a local real estate agent here in Southwest Florida. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Fort Myers, Florida or anywhere in Southwest Florida, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. Now we have people reaching out to us from all over the country with questions about Fort Myers, Florida, Cape Coral, Florida, just across the river, and of course all the beaches in Florida and all the other cities and towns that surround Fort Myers and essentially all of Southwest Florida. So if you have questions at all about anything Southwest Florida, then make sure you reach out any way that you know how. We'll always have your back with those questions and we'll certainly have your back when it comes time for you to make your move to Southwest Florida. All right, so this video, we're gonna talk about the lifestyle in Fort Myers just a little bit. And of course, it is in Southwest Florida. So people moving here already have a certain expectation for moving to Southwest Florida. And the fact that the weather is usually pretty good. It does rain a lot here, but it doesn't rain every single day, all day. You get some thunderstorms in the evening, thunderstorms in the afternoon, especially during the rainy season. But people come to Florida with an expectation of nice, warm weather. So coming to Fort Myers, you can expect to have have a lot of opportunities to do things outside and so where we are here today this morning it's a weekday morning it's a Thursday morning so we got a farmers market going on and usually that's reserved for you know places that are or don't have quite the weather of Florida to be seasonal and they're usually on the weekends right. too so like back in the Midwest it runs through September most farmers markets and then after that they shut down for the year unless they're inside but in Florida you can actually have them all year long yep. and in fact a lot of things intensify a little bit more outside of the hot season so as we're getting in this this video here is being filmed in the fall and we can get into things like this farmers market and more farmers markets or art fairs and things like that that are outside when it's a little bit cooler so lots of opportunities to be outside in the Fort Myers area and all of Southwest Florida just this farmers market here alone over at Centennial Park you know typically come winter time up north you have splash pads and different pools and stuff like that that shut down well here you know come to the farmers market grab a bite to eat have your kids playing the splash pads they're putting the big amphitheater in here now so they'll begin to have live entertainment here you know and then as you get into the fall and you know we'll say cooler months for florida yeah that's when all your art shows really start to pick up you know they have you know a few huge art shows you're talking a couple hundred vendors and the great thing about all this stuff you know being outside very pet friendly just a big gathering walking around everywhere checking out multiple vendors just enjoying the weather here throughout the whole year right yeah, and like you said, with the pet friendly aspect to it as well. So you can expect to be outside an awful lot for events like this, but you can also bring your pets with you. And, you know, as long as it's a reasonable pet, you can't bring a tiger or something crazy like that or an elephant, but if you've got a dog or two, you can bring those, they're really welcome. And there are a lot of other places in the country where it's not quite that way. So it's pretty pet friendly when it comes to just about any event that you're gonna see, not any event, but a lot of events outside around the Fort Myers area. You know, even going into different beaches and stuff like that, there are a few different dog parks and dog beaches that you can take your pets to as well. And then if you start looking at other beaches that, for instance, uh, State Park, Lover's Key, is yeah. a beach that I didn't know about until I moved to Fort Myers and I had visited here multiple times. And, you know, every time you visit, all you know is kind of the touristy spots, the Hey, Fort Myers Beach, a lot of retail over there, a lot of stores, restaurants. Yeah, very commercial. Yeah, you know, it's not what you realize once you get down here that there's a little bit more 
private areas that not everybody goes to they're nicer a lot more open trails multiple state parks throughout fort myers area absolutely yeah and it's something that you have to be here for a little while because it's the same for me the times that i've been to fort myers vacations fort myers beach sanibel I and mean, those are places that the tourists come to but you do still even living in fort myers and if you want to go to the beach it'd be obviously a pretty big advantage for living on the coast like this but you probably want to go to a place where the locals are and it's not as crowded and there are places like that that exist but sometimes it's difficult to learn about those places until you actually move to a place like Fort Myers. All right so if the beaches outdoor life like that isn't your thing and you're a little bit more of a shopper then Fort Myers pretty much has you covered there but even that can be done mostly outside as well. There's plenty full outdoor shops here you have the large Miramar outlets and then not very far from it you know, a short drive is the Coconut Point outlets, which is a lot of outdoor shopping. And, you know, it's kind of surprising, you know, just how close they are that they're able to even, you know, a lot of those places stay in business. There's just so much to do here, so many different shops. Even outside of those outlets, you have multiple other malls, you know, multiple other storefronts, consignment shops, restaurants with outdoor seating, indoor seating. Yeah, the outdoor seating is huge here all year long, right? Yeah, definitely. Yep. And, you know, no matter where you live, you're always close to some sort of stores and restaurants being able to do, you know, something outside if you want to. You know, if you want to be inside, they definitely have that here as well. You know, some people during the summer times, they like to escape the heat, so they take advantage of some of the indoor shops you know, again, the AC. Yeah, take a break, because <laughs> it does get hot, obviously. Fort Myers isn't a gigantic city, and you're always in a pretty decent location and not too far away from really good shopping, but if you wanted to step up a little bit higher than that, then what Fort Myers has to offer, you could just go down south to Naples, right? Yep, go over to Naples, they have you know, they're kind of a little main street of shopping down there. A lot of higher luxury stores, not all high end, you know, there's kind of a budget for everyone down there. Yeah. And then a bunch of nice restaurants, you're close to the water over there. It's a really nice area. For us, so if the shopping and farmer's markets, outdoor dining and all that isn't your thing, or it's not your thing necessarily all the time, you also have the outdoor activities. So you live obviously along the coast here, along a large river as well. So. There are a lot of state parks and preserves really close to all that where you can take advantage of that. One good example would be Estero Bay. So Estero Bay is a huge state park. It's over 11,000 acres, has you know a lot of water for if you like to go boating, recreational, or go fishing out there. Or paddling, yep. you, know, you don't have to have a motorized boat, just be paddling, kayak, anything like that. Even the rivers, you know, you would just want to do kayaking, there's even tours that you can go, you know, you don't want to deal with bringing your own kayak or anything like that. You can go on guided tours. They can teach you how to kayak. They can take you out, take you on the tours. There's lots of trails, over 15 miles of yep. hiking that you can do. Just in Estero Bay. Yeah, yeah. Just, just whether or not you just want to do it for fitness, you want to get out there, see the wildlife, be, in, be out with nature. Yeah, a little outside, of course, the city like this, and. And Estero Bay is not that far from where we're standing here in Centennial Park at all. It might be under 30 minutes. Yeah, at least definitely. Get there depending on, yeah, depending on the traffic. So a pretty easy drive to get to places like that. And that's not the only preserve or state park within a short drive. And a lot of the state parks aren't huge, but they're large enough to do a little bit of hiking, like you said, yep. or a little bit of paddling. And let's say you don't have all day maybe you just got a few hours or even less than that and you just want to go on a 30 minute walk something like that then there are plenty of opportunities to do something like that and get away from a little bit of the hustle of Fort Myers it's not New York City it's not Miami it's not as busy as that at all but you get a little bit of traffic and it gets to be a little bit busy sometimes so it's nice to have these little pockets of escapes in all different areas of Fort Myers yeah you can even escape for a quick lunch have a little picnic out yeah. at a state park and, you know just your daily getaway absolutely all right so that's just a little bit about the lifestyle here in Fort Myers what you might be able to expect but if there are other things that you're interested in you have questions about make sure you reach out to us just about Fort Myers and anywhere in Southwest Florida we'll always have those questions covered for you and until the next one we'll see you later Bye.